Welcome to GC Cars. My name is Eric and today we're going to take a walk around, around this 2021 Kia Telluride Night Sky or Nightfall Edition if you live in the US. Uh, luckily Kia decided to call them differently in the US and in Canada the same edition which makes it harder for me to make a video that can be found by both Americans and Canadians. So uh, yeah, thank you for that Kia. But um, this is going to be a walk around just like you were at a dealership and we're able to look at it yourself just without the hassle of actually going to the dealership and having them ask you about buying this vehicle. So that's uh, kind of a good pro, eh? See all the sets, of course, on your right-hand side. And if you're interested in a full-on review about this Kia Telluride and want to know if I like it and recommend it, make sure to click in the top right-hand corner because I got a full review about this exact Telluride right there. Now, without further ado, let's take a look at the interior, the exterior, under the hood, and the trunk. Now, first of all, we got our beautiful amber daylight, daytime running lights, and the Night Sky Edition gives us a lot of goodies. So we got the blacked out grille, the blacked out Kia logo. We got these 20 inch wheels, exclusive with the Night Sky, well, like I said, Nightfall Edition is the same thing. And we have our blacked out Telluride logo. This color is called Dark Moss, by the way. And we also have a black lower lip. I think, and overall, uh, that kind of adds to the bold styling that this Telluride has. Side also looks pretty good. I think great pro profile. In general, I like my SUVs to be boxy, so this is right up my alley. Tail, um, well, rear, maybe the one thing that's a little awkward is the lights, but overall, still think it's pretty good. And also, obviously, the Night Sky Edition is the top trim. That's the SX, and with the 3.8 liter V6. Hi there. So, um, I don't know if you can hear the burble, but it actually burbles pretty nicely. We're gonna, like I said, gonna take a look at the trunk here in a second. But first of all, let's take a look at the interior of this Telluride. So let's go on, hop on in. It's already unlocked. And here's the interior. Very nicely designed, in my opinion. Let's close this for now. Oops, there we go. Very nicely designed, looks pretty good. We got analog gauges with the screen in the middle. And if we on our indicator this gets replaced with a camera view essentially replacing our side mirrors but I would still recommend using them and obviously right here we have yep, I always use the wrong one for this this one it is right yes we have different kind of menus everything you might want um also you saw drive mode this is our drive mode selector right here See comfort, eco, sport, and smart. We can change that. Snow, mud, sand, whatever we need. Different drive modes. In general, this looks pretty nice. We got a lot of piano black though down here. We get a phone charger, which just about fits my S21 Plus. So if you have a bigger phone, it might be a little tight. I think it can probably just about fit this generation, but next generations of phones might get a little tight. Our seats are both heated as well as ventilated and they're also memory seats as you can see we get some wood trim down here plenty of space down at the bottom for water bottles or things like that let's take a look at the center console which is a little quirky to open because i can't just pull it as you can see you kind of have to pull it and push it backwards a little i don't know if that's intended uh, as always i got some stuff in here my, my dash cam and all that but as you can see there's a decent amount of room in here pretty good you can take this out you get plenty of space in here obviously got our glove box which is roomy enough i think in our infotainment has plenty of features so android auto apple carplay included it's not wireless though then we have reclimate controls we can control driving info uh driver talk so we can talk to passengers in the second and third row and the, that goes through the speakers so if you have a hard time hearing your kids or they have a hard time hearing you just use that and make them shut up if they're loud <laughs> of course we got sirius xm satellite radio all the goodies now next thing i want to show you is the second row so let's get out of here and we'll jump right in so second row here you go we get the captain's chairs these are options, you can also have a bench. Then you have eight people maximum, you can seat right in here. This is seven people. So let's hop in. We got a handle right here. So it's easy to get out in and out. 
and very nice storage. First of all, we got the big storage, and then if you just want to slide your phone in, perfect holder right here. We got a hanger if you need to hang anything, we got USB ports. This is very well thought out. We also have heated and ventilated seats here in the second row, which is really nice. Uh, we have sunshades, which I'm for some reason unable to put in properly. I'm, ve I'm, I'm very bad at this. I don't know why, but I'm very bad at this. <laughs> there we go. Um, this is easier than it looks, trust me. I'm just very bad at it. <laughs> and then storage, obviously more down here. Get some nice little cubby storage down on the side. Cup holders over there. And um, yeah, we have our armrest, which just like in an airplane. Now you can put them up, you can put them down, you can put them up and just stop them, stop them, they kind of ratchet. If you want to put them all the way back down, put them up, put them down. Like I said, just like in an airplane. But we can also move these seats around. So just so you know how much we move. There we go. Now we got plenty of space. I'm five foot seven, plenty of space. We can even recline very far. I'll show you this from the outside. Oh, there again. And um, yeah, a lot of room, very, very comfortable. Honestly, I could spend a lot of time in here. I'll just show this to you from this angle. There you can see how much we can recline and bring it forward. We can bring it forward very far. Now let's put up the uh, whoops, no, backrest. There we go. And now it's pretty much a maximum storage mode. Or if for some reason somebody prefers this in the third row instead of the second row, now we have plenty of space back here. Still, of course, the floor is a little high, so my knees are higher than my hip, which over time would get a little bit uncomfortable. But this is definitely good enough storage room down here usb for charging needs the sunroof this one can't be open but the first one the front can be opened so plenty of room down here and this is a more reasonable position as you can see i still got pretty pretty good amounts of room now we got our headrest which you can obviously put down we got our seat belts one here one up top one in the side for our three seats Right here. I wouldn't necessarily want to sit in the middle, although with the captain's chairs you have the advantage that you can just stretch out, right? That's pretty nice bonus. Now, let's pull you back. There we go. And take a look at the third row. There we go. Uh, third row, I mean the trunk, obviously. Let's just open the trunk. It opens pretty easily just with the button automatic obviously like even behind the third row i think we got a very good good amount of room back here no grocery bag hangers directly unfortunately which is funny because we have the perfect things in the second uh, behind the front seats would be nice to have them here but there's still plenty of room down here we have a little more room right now we have no spare tire or anything but we got some floor mats in there just to let's put that back down there There we go. Okay, but obviously we can put down our third row. Simply push it, pull it, let it go. And once again, pull it, let it go. And even our second and our third and uh, second row seats can fold down. There we go. This one's a little close. That's why it didn't go all the way down. But now you have plenty of storage space um, I don't think you'll have any problems with this whatsoever now pull her up again you can just quickly fix this if you want just line it backwards a little bit there we go we can also release I uh, put them forward with this tab or both so both have these tabs as well as buttons just up here for example just press the button now we can put it up, put it down, press the button, and it slides forward. That's kind of your your, ma your control up here. But we wanted to take a look at the engine as the last thing. Let's go down here. Where do we have it? Oh, there it is. Push down the side. Get in there. So let's see how easy it is to open with one hand. Okay, turn it to the right. 
Oh, it's actually to the left, eh? Let's see. And it gets held automatically. That's nice, so we get a good look at the 3.8 liter V6, 291 horsepower, and 276 pound feet of torque, if I'm not um, kind of confusing something here. You saw it at the t in the beginning. I'll correct myself if I need to. But um, yeah, actually still plenty of room here with this V6 in here. And yeah, that's the engine bay. So let's put it back down. There we go. And yeah, that's a walk around on the 2021 Kia Telluride Night Sky slash Nightfall Edition. Like I said, we have a full review, which should appear on the right hand side of your screen just about now. We also have POV drives where we test the highway cruise assist, the automatic high beams and all that. If you want to see that, I'll put the full playlist just down there. And if you like my videos, I would love for you to like the video or maybe subscribe and hit the bell just in the top left. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope I will see you in the next one. Thank you and goodbye.